Hi, welcome back to OMG The Cloud. Today we're picking up with our container series and we're gonna go ahead and deploy a WordPress website and its database and we're gonna do this fully containerized. This is gonna sit behind our PFSense HA proxy, which if you've been following along in our PFSense series, you should have that built out already. This is a really lightweight way to deploy WordPress. No reason to stand up separate virtual machines for a relatively low traffic WordPress server. Let's work from the outside in. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and set up your HA proxy. This is our virtualized PFSense instance, and we have our HTTPS front end, back end set up here. Now, I'll just show you what this is. Let's start with the back end. So we have a single instance pointing at the IP address where our Docker host is. And I know I'm gonna deploy it on port 8082. Now, we've talked a lot about traffic, if you've been following along in this series. In this particular case, because we're going to be exposing this externally, we're not exposing traffic directly to the internet. I do love traffic. I think it's a terrific product. I feel it's better suited as an internal application proxy. I don't feel real good about exposing it straight to the internet. Others might disagree. I think it's a great way to load balance your internal traffic, but for external internet facing traffic, I want something a little more hardened. So that's why I want to use something like HAProxy or PFSense. So that's why we're choosing this. That's why we're defining our obscure port numbers. So we're going to run this on 8082 and the front end, if we go back and take a peek at that, I've already configured this, but I'll just show you what it looks like. This is essentially just going to match the fully qualified domain name, wordpress.omgthecloud.com. And when it matches that, it's gonna go ahead and create this action looking for this ACL defined above. That action is going to forward traffic to this backend. So once you have that set up, we can go ahead and step into our Docker host. And in here, just go ahead and create yourself a folder and we're gonna edit a Docker Compose file. This is gonna contain our configuration. I've pre-built this. This is basically just edited lightly from what you'll find on hub.docker.com, just a randomized password and volumes and things like that, but no major changes. The only change we made, and again, you'll notice this port that we have exposed here is the same port that we just defined in our PFSense firewall. So 8082, it's gonna map inside to port 80. That's where WordPress runs. And then secondarily, we also have our database. WordPress operates on a MySQL database, and so we've defined that as well. That doesn't need to have any ports exposed. It's only talking to the front end of WordPress, so we don't need to define any external ports. Whatever randomized password we used uh, for that environment variable for the WordPress database username and password, those need to match down here in the database definition. Once you have those things lined up, you're good to go. So let's go ahead and launch this. Docker stack deploy dash C, Docker compose YAML, and then the name, I'm gonna just call it WordPress. Launch that. It's gonna go ahead and create that network. It's gonna create the WordPress website itself, and it's gonna create the WordPress database. And that'll take a few minutes in the background to pull those images. Docker compose doesn't really expose when it's pulling those images but you can always take a look either at your Docker PS just to see if that service is running. In this case, I see it's already up and running. And secondly, you can always take a look at HTOP. This will show you kind of what's going on in that system as well. So now that we see the service is up, let's pull this up in a browser, wordpress.omgthecloud.com. That's what I call mine, and there it is. So we're presented with the default setup and configuration for a WordPress site. You step through this, you're off and running. So, hey guys, this was a really quick one. I just wanted to show you how to do this. Hopefully this was valuable to you. Please let me know down in the comments what else you'd like to see in the container series. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you see when I do post new videos. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.